Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And oh my God, guys, this is the episode you've all been waiting for. As you know, this past week, I've been talking about tonight's episode, saying that you didn't want to miss it to make sure you had notifications turned on because this is the score of a lifetime. I mean, seriously, what you're about to see tonight is just absolutely insane. And not just, not just a score, but the deal of a lifetime. You will never see anybody make a deal on the items, the vintage toys that you're about to see in tonight's video. You're never gonna see anybody make a deal and get these things at this price. And I have to thank my friend Patrick for being so awesome and giving me such an amazing deal on these toys. Like guys, it is, it's almost unbelievable. So just a little bit of a backstory here. Two summers ago, Patrick, who is who lives locally and he's a subscriber, reached out to me in an email and said, hey Burf, I love your channel and uh, I wanted to know if you would be interested in purchasing some of my childhood toys. He said that uh, he had some toys that he had gotten out of his parents' shed that have been sitting in there for like almost 40 years. And if I was interested, he would give me a good deal on some things. So I said, sure, send over some pictures. Well, what he sent over was some pictures of this Castle Grayskull and this Snake Mountain. And we ended up striking a deal. In fact, I recorded a video on it that I have never released. It's actually still sitting in the archives. At some point, I'm going to release that video. Um, but this, you know, I had been on the hunt for a Castle Grayskull, hoping to find it in a thrift store. And unfortunately that didn't happen, but Patrick gave me an incredible deal on these two items. Well, I kind of lost touch with Patrick and he had, uh, he had a lot more toys. He had bins full of toys. And he told me that he had some like grail items that he would be willing to part with and uh, would also give me a good deal on it. Now these things, I mean, these are, these are grails, guys. These are grails. These are like some of the biggest grails you could possibly get in all of vintage toydom. Um, anyway, Patrick reached out to me a few weeks ago and said, hey, Burf, you know those grails I was telling you about? If you wanna come by the house and check them out, I'll give you an insane deal on it. Like I'll make an I'll make you an offer on them that you can't refuse, basically. So I knew what he was talking about, and I was really curious to see what kind of deal we could strike on this. Because, you know, as you guys know, I have some Grail dreams this year. I want to get the Clash of the Titans Kraken. I'd like to get the Shogun Godzilla that I had as a kid. And when I realized that I could possibly score these grills and then maybe flip them to get the money to buy the grills that I want, um, I said, sure. I said, I'd, I'd love to come by. So we met up for breakfast and then we head over, head, headed over to his garage, his home, and he pulled it all out. Uh, it is, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna show you right now what he has for me and you gotta watch all the way to the end because you are not gonna believe the deal that he gave me on this. I'm telling you guys, it is the deal and score of a lifetime. And now I'm actually kind of in this dilemma of whether or not I wanna flip these things because I don't know if I'll ever own something like this at this price ever again. Check it out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, gang. I am at Patrick's house and oh my gosh, this is so freaking exciting. It's so exciting. I can't believe this is happening, man. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. <laughs> we gonna head around back? Yeah, I got most of them. Okay, cool. Yeah, I saw that. I was gonna say your neighbor got toilet paper. <laughs> oh, dude, you said your garage was a wreck. 
This ain't a wreck. <laughs> you should see my garage. Oh my God. Dude, look at the size of the box of the Defiant. The, the aircraft the, carrier box is about the same size. Wow. And this is the aircraft carrier in the Defiant yeah. box. Damn. That's, there's actually two, should be two deck pieces in there. Holy cow, dude. Yeah, that thing's about, about seven foot when it's fully put together. Do you think we might be able to pull some of it out? We're going to pull it off. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hear parts. I see parts. What is this over here? It's space station. Oh, wow. And damn it, I made it all the way home, and when I put it in here, those pieces. Oh, those door. pieces broke off. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's crazy. Do you need some help with that? Let's see. <laughs> What this is. It says secret on top secret. And now you got me curious. <laughs> it's all your ripped out Playboy yeah. stuff from when you were like 14. <laughs> oh, it's got the blueprints. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, dude. <clears throat> oh, is that the Terra Drone? That's the Terra Drone. Wow. Oh, the there's space the station. And a missile. Wow, and a missile. Oh, one more. Cobra Wolf. Oh, more. Oh, wow, dude. Well, here's a guy's legs. That looks like uh, Is a it, condo. Yeah, or possibly Leatherneck, maybe. Or Leatherneck, yeah. Yeah. Actually, at Lowe's last month i bought a bunch of o-rings i got some joes i need to prepare oh talk oh it's hawk there we go yeah all right these are the deck cross members there's the pilot one half of the pilot for the uh, tomahawk, tomahawk. Wonder how many other Joes might be in there. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find out. I don't want to snap any, break anything. It's the deck crane. That's the fuel vehicle. Does it have, um, are the instructions for that here in these? Should be. Okay. If they are there, that's where they will be. These are the deck clips. Oh, wow, look how small. Yeah, so I can see them. You know, it's kind of crazy too, like how much, if somebody needs one of these deck oh, clips, what they no. sell for. I've seen people selling on eBay. I've seen them selling these, the, the other half of that vehicle should be in there somewhere. Another deck clip, Hawk's pistol. Oh yeah. I don't know how that little piece part. More deck clips. That's right. You kind of have an uncanny memory for weapons and stuff like that, don't you? <laughs> so I, I, I do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get uh, a zippy bag or two. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. That box is just massive. He's got a Cobra Terra drone. As well, I don't know. I might be in his house, possibly. We might, maybe. Oh, there it is, right there. I was like, we're right there. It is. Look at that. Wow, dude, it's funny. 
first time we met, it was like 120 degrees oh, outside, no. and now it's like freezing. <laughs> Yeah, it might be good Those to just, yeah. Tiny. <clears throat> good to keep them all together like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, anything small like that. You want me to put these in sure. there? Too? Okay. If it's small and plastic, I'm putting it in there. Right. This is hawks. Oh, there's his crotch. Is it, is it broken at Yeah, no. No, good. So. No, it's intact. Yeah, it's good. It just needs a new overing. Yeah. Rubber band. <clears throat> That's the helm. Be in here. You got my sky strike. Yeah. There's a little piece that clips on. You know when planes land and that oh, thing grabs them. Oh, yeah, it grabs them. That's what that is. The deck. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Grab all these missiles here. There, I'll put these in a different bag. I got a lifeboat and got the dashboard for the command center. More dashboard. Cool. There's the, for the fuel trailer. Flatter. <clears throat> neighborhood of wasps, oh, mud wasps. <laughs> now you're probably long. Oh yeah, look, the door's still on there. That's got, I imagine that snaps off pretty easy, so that's kind of cool that it's still attached. Let's see. This is flooring for the multi-story. Ah, there we go. Oh. This is the Fantel deck. The bow with the anchor still intact. Oh, wow. oh yeah, here and these are the full-on instructions here. Man, dude, could you imagine putting this together for your kid? <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have to put it. Well, you know, I'll have to put it together. <laughs> It, so this obviously needs to be it's bowed. Yeah, I see that. I wonder if um, I know sometimes like if you like take like a heat gun to it or something like that, you can. But Maybe it's probably wrap it in a washcloth and then use a heat gun on the low setting. I I, I don't know. I, I would yeah. put direct heat on it. Yeah, from a heat gun for fear of melting the plastic. Well, but some, if you can get some low heat on it, you probably. Yeah. So I'm seeing a theme here, maybe, or not. Oh yeah, I think you're right. Maybe, actually, let's see, maybe that goes like not this. Uh, it's, just, <clears throat> it's just a warped, but maybe we can get that. Now, is that supposed to be completely straight? Patrick, do you know, or is it supposed to have maybe a little curvature to it? It's supposed to have that curvature. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Here's the top of the, the deck. Oh, well, not the deck, but the. Uh... So when I was. I was looking this stuff up a while back on eBay just to see what was out there. Yeah. 
there's people that print decals for these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a, I have a... What made me think about that was that decal right there. Oh, yeah, kind of ripped up. That could be swapped out. Yeah, I have a, a friend who lives in McKinney. <laughs> His name's Patrick, too. I call him Clutch. But he... uh he does custom like he, like for example he bought a Buzz Lightyear starship and then repainted it and put decals on it with GI Joe and turned it into a GI Joe vehicle plane yeah but he got the decals off of uh, online so there's some guy that I was at the radar yeah. dish yeah. the size of that thing dude that is so wide like so you had this as a kid obviously yeah. um where did you have it bedroom. in your bedroom yeah. did it like take up it your is. whole floor <laughs> it's, it's, it's about seven foot i think yeah that's yeah it's about seven I've foot i've had it when from when i was a kid i've had it put together twice it's one of those things, once you put it together, it's there. Yeah, you're and not going to take, take it. it down. And I took it down once, put it up, and then put it back together. Yeah. And now being as old as it is, once it gets put back together, unless you have plans of breaking it, you should leave it back together. <laughs> Things in here. Oh, here's the deal that I was telling you. Oh, about. you got the case too. Yeah, that goes on. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Metroid and Zelda. Yeah, you got Mario on there. What was this piece here you were talking about? So that's the piece that uh, eclipsed to the Sky Striker. Oh, that's yeah. when it comes across the runway. Sounds right. Yeah. This little hook right here is probably what grabs a hold of the. Yeah, this is more uh, dashboard for inside. Those are the slots for the deck clips. Oh, the, the ones, okay. Yeah. So those deck clips are what actually hold it together. That's, yeah, that's what holds the deck onto the, these cross members. Okay. I just don't remember how many goes. Does that go on that side over there? And then does that piece go on top of that? Yeah, it would go on top. Something I don't. So what's the skirt right here? That's the skirt. 
Well, it's part of the skirt. I don't see the rest of the skirt. So once you get it set up, that's what covers all the frame and everything. Okay. Part of what covers. Now, that piece is supposed to be bent like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It straightens out. Uh, somebody's crotch. So I, without, without really analyzing the instructions, I don't know what's missing. Okay. I can guarantee you there's some missing there. Yeah. Like I told you, this would be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, um, and again, like, I don't know what's missing either, but I'm actually kind of surprised that there appears to be less to it than what I had thought. You know what I mean? Like, which I'm sure most of it is probably here. I mean, but I just, I yeah. thought there, I thought there would just be a, like hundred, like a hundred pieces to like, you know, plus, you know, I don't know. Okay. So that, and that would sit on top of that. So that piece there actually that, that goes up high, I remember. So like this tower here. Are these like the windows? And yeah, that's like a door. I what am I missing? Because that goes on top. I wonder if um I wonder if the instructions over here, where did I put those at? I wonder if this is subtle level. Down below? Yeah. I don't, I don't see it up there. So with that skirting, do you, uh, do you remember how many of those there were? Were there, was there just two of them or was there four? There, there, so you got the bow. So that would be the cover for the front. Okay. To answer the question directly, I don't remember how many, but I know there was more than that. This is probably... The rear. So there would be another skirt piece that covers the other side. What we could do... For that. Okay. Not, which is an elevator. Well, I and might. This uh, is the elevator right here. That's the elevator. Yeah. Now, does that sit out off the side? It, oh, right there. Interesting. Okay. I saw yeah. the turret go and it snaps in there. I think that's it right here. Yeah. Or in one of those bags. I'm going to pull up a or picture of this. Frame. Oh, the crane. Okay. Oh, there's the instructions right there. I was wondering where I put those down at. Okay, so the crane will go here. Okay. By the way, these are not broke. So this, you pull it out, and it goes in from that side. It's oh, okay. Got that lip that prevents it from pulling out. Okay. Like this one. Here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. See, so you just gotta yeah. maneuver it in there. This would be the turret gun, I think, for that. For this up here? Yeah, that right there. Okay. This is going to be a seat for the inside. There's another one over here in this bag. There's multiple. Okay. Actually, yeah. Uh, that gray seat actually might be able to turn it. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll 
put it in the bag here for now. Okay. And you, obviously cardboard degrades over time, whatever. Uh, it couldn't help when you move a lot. Right? <laughs> and this sat out in the... Yeah, the, the reason I don't have the box for the aircraft carrier is my parents had said that it was in such bad shape that it was they just tossed just it. Just damaged, yeah. Everything. This one was semi yeah. salvageable. Yeah. Semi. <laughs> to be used loose. Somebody would buy that, though. Actually, believe it or not, they will. Um, I've seen just, just the box for this and the aircraft carrier for sale. Wow. And they're in much better shape than this one. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen one in this bad shape. Yeah. For sale. Yeah, it's kind of, especially on the bottom, it's kind of yeah. roached out, you know. But, uh, but the aircraft but, your box, it came in a box about this, the same size. Yeah. Dude, I can't imagine being a kid at Christmas and waking up. Well, do you remember, was this wrapped or was it just sitting there? My dad had to buy it with me present because it's one of those things where the stores only got a few of them. We were at a Toys R Us in, I want to say Rockwall. And I remember him getting it. And, I mean, he had to get it right there in front of us either. Get it or... <laughs> yeah. Not, get <laughs> not it. getting it, right? Because I mean, these things weren't... They weren't produced in abundance. Yeah. And I even read a backstory on these in the aircraft carriers. Like, the stores that had them only got a few of them. Wow. Like a couple that was of them, it. A few, and that was it. Yeah, I mean, they take up so much space so <laughs> on yeah, store shelves, you know, so... It was one of those things where... He bought it right there in front of me. I had to look at it the whole car ride home, and they wrapped it. And put it under the tree and I couldn't open it for Christmas. Now, do you you didn't happen to get this and the aircraft carrier no, the same Christmas? After. So this was like eighty six ish. Okay. The aircraft carrier was eighty four, eighty five. Okay. So the wow. funny aircraft carrier was how I found out Santa Claus wasn't real. Oh, really? What's what's the story behind that? I was in my garage. Me and another friend were in my garage playing. And up in the front corner of the garage sits this big box with a blanket covering it. Way to go, Mom and Dad. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, my friend kind of pushes and pulls it aside, and uh, there sits the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. So I you know, didn't say anything. I'm thinking, I'm going to get this shit for Christmas Eve. <laughs> you know, my parents will be out of gifts. Right. Nope. It was sitting out Christmas morning when I woke up. Look what Santa Claus brought you. No, he didn't. Oh, <laughs> so you called your parents out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I figured out Santa Claus is it real. Wow. How, about how it. old were you, do you remember? Uh, I probably wasn't. I was probably first, second grade. Okay. Yeah, so you're like eight years old, seven yeah. years old, something like that. Yeah. Wow, that's funny. Cool, man. And then uh, this, the Define here, the space shuttle, is it. Um, is it do you know is it like fairly complete yeah it's mostly i would i would call it 98 percent complete. Oh, okay so it's really just missing a few pieces man. oh there's the tomahawk yeah. so this is complete oh, i it took is. the blades off intentionally so oh, okay I, so they're cool. in one of those toes. you have the uh the canopy thing here as well i do okay my brother got this for Christmas one year. This was his favorite Joe vehicle. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I'm scared to. I know, right? I wouldn't. Uh... So the action figure, one of them. Was he in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the action figures right there. Whoops, it came with two. Oh, it did come with two. It did. Oh, I didn't know that. His waist and helmet are here, along with a couple other pieces that go to the. Right I know, it's like. There's backpacks in there, too. Oh, uh, yeah, so I the see. Backpack it. next to a wire for spacewalking. Okay. Okay. 
those GI Joes in there. Those are mutant. Too many mutant ninja turtles. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh look at that Schwartz in there. Oh yeah. Oh that's the only cool. one I don't have in there is uh which is the one with the Michelangelo, Donatello. Uh, is it Raphael that's red? Yeah, Raphael's yeah, red, yeah. For whatever reason, they didn't have him when I bought him, and I just never went. And, and you never got him, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you got three of the four. Bebop, Rocksteady, Shredder, Usagi, Yojimbo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Splinter. And some, I forgot what that one is. <laughs> Oh, uh, the um, uh, I think his name is Metalhead actually. Okay. All, right. All right, so. If you were kind of going off memory a little bit, looking at this thing here, um, if this were all put together, would it be able to stand on its own, or is it missing because of this? No, that's skirt. not structure. That's, that's not structure. Uh, cosmetic to cover the framing underneath it. Okay. Those cross members are your frame. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that skirting is not structural whatsoever. Okay, so it would like if we put it together, it would stand. It just wouldn't look as pretty because of that. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Okay, gotcha. Let's see if I can pull that out on that cardboard. Poorly designed. Look at how those bow out. Oh yeah. These and. That happened not long, like after it's brand new. It just was poorly designed oh, and wow. it would not support the weight. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So there's, there's the guns. Okay. Stuff. Um, it looks like this piece here broke off too, huh? Oh, shit. I did not notice that. This opens. Okay. Oh, there's the inside of it. Fins for the shovel. Okay. Now, I wonder. With this right here, is this um, is this a piece that's snapped in here that can be replaced or? It's one piece that top, yeah, the white snaps to the blue. Okay. I don't even have any clue how that is. I'm not sure. Oh, well, there's a Oops. piece to it. No, it's a leaf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it, ooh. so turn that, and that brings this thing up into oh, launch mode. Oh, and it mode. goes yeah. from yeah. laying flat to vertical. Yeah. Okay. Puts it into launch mode. Is this a door here? Oh yeah, it's some sort of some sort of door maybe. Oh yeah, that's uh, put people in there. Oh, there we go. There's another one over here. Okay. Okay. 
So, at breakfast, you were thinking the Terradrome and that, maybe 500. What were you thinking if... <clears throat> so there's this, and then are you looking to get rid of those uh, other toys as well? Like the, the ones that you had in the bin and the TMNT? Yeah, and, oh, these are all the other toys? Yeah, I want to keep the arm. Keep the honor, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good. Yeah. <laughs> that's more nostalgia factor for me. <laughs> that's, oh wow! Well. Is this the Night Raven? It is. This this was all GI Joe piece part stuff. Two man down there. Okay. See, I told you I put all that stuff in. Oh yeah, you got them all in plastic bags. Okay. GI uh, Joe. What is that? Bill the fold outs oh, that come with Oh yeah. The, uh, well, you saved all those too. That's awesome. Great way. This. So there's the boy. Tom, the tomahawk. tomahawk, okay. I think these are file cards. No, oh, the trapper. Yeah, yeah the trapper keeper. File cards somewhere. It's more G.I. Oh, that's an old school book. Yeah, it is. Wow. Were you in the BMX racing? Oh, and say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's more space station stuff. Okay. Wow, set my group. Is this, uh, is this, what is this? Is this... Oh, just to chalk out for a second. I thought maybe it was mask. Yeah, high rider. Okay. Okay, yeah, we don't have to go through all of that. But... There's another one down here. Oh, this, is, this has stuff in it, too. Yeah, I don't think Oh, yeah, Powers. that was the Austin Power, Power stuff. This is comic books here. Yeah, are these mainly G.I. Joe? Oh, wow. Most of them are. Um, yeah, looks like a lot of them, yeah. Visionary. Oh, Visionary. G.I. Conan. Captain America Conan. See, they're on. Oh, hey, that's some old school shit. Right oh, there. there you go, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I thought that was in the top secret file. <laughs> that was in the hidden box <laughs> under the comics. <laughs> I think that you've seen the, the KISS figures. I think they're... Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are super cool. And those are like late 90s reissues. Yeah. Mint and box. I've got two or three more bins my dad's. I don't remember what's in there. I know it's not. They're uh, bins like this? Yeah. It's probably... I think it's Spawn stuff. Okay. Okay, so are you so this and you looking at you looking to get rid of all that except for the Arnold or what are, what are you looking I, to? Yeah, I'd like to get rid of everything. Okay, so if we did everything, would seven hundred? Do all of it? Yeah, I would do that. You would do seven? Yeah. Okay. 700. I'm getting it all for 700. That's crazy. All right, cool. Um, you want the comic books too? Yeah, I mean, if you don't. Yeah, no, I don't mind. So I'll take the Playboys too. <laughs> Playboy number three. That's oh school. wow, dang, yeah, it is. Yeah, awesome. Oh yeah, <laughs> eighty-seven. That's awesome. <laughs> Been in there since I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> buried under your comics too, so your mom wouldn't find it, right? <laughs> Trapper 
keep a folder because it's got more GI Joe instructions okay. stuff in it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there. Here's what I would like to ask you. So 700 for everything. Could I give you half of it next week and then give you the other, and you can keep it here until I pay it and then half, like I'll try and do it before the end of January. Sure. Um, even for you since I got the truck. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> It'll give me also an opportunity to clean out my garage so that my wife doesn't flip out when you pull up with this stuff. And I, I, you know, between now and then, I might can dig some more stuff up for my dad's. So okay. I'll probably go up there. Um, see, I go to Jersey next Sunday. I won't go there between now and then, but somewhere between then and then and change. Yeah. Back up there. Okay. Dude, that'd be cool. Um, okay. So if we end up going to North Dallas toy show, I'll just bring the money to that. The first half of it. If, if, if not, I'll just stop by anyway and pay you, you know, if you, if you can't make it. Um, and then, like I said, it'll give me an opportunity to clean up and then get the, the other half of it. So, Cool. All right, man. Shake on that. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, 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 man. What do you think? What do you think? Was it a good deal? I think it was a good deal. Man, he's such an awesome guy, too. You know, like, he even told me, like, last year when we first met and I bought some stuff off him. He's like, look, dude, I'm not, like, looking to get rich off this stuff you know i'll give you a good deal fair price if you want it so patrick if you're watching thank you for that man really truly appreciate it so um so here's the deal guys uh i'm gonna have to make some installment payments on it i don't got just 700 bucks laying around but uh i'm gonna pay him half this weekend and then pay him half the other half in, in about a month and then once i get all of it on hand i'll get it cleaned up and we'll do some epic show and tell in the meantime if you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you do me a favor smash the like button and if you want to watch more videos just like this check out this next video